With the 27th pick in the 2021 NBA Draft. Draft day and all day long. I wonder if the Kobe fans are gonna like it. The Brooklyn Nets select Cameron Thomas from Louisiana State University. And then he opens up the jacket. Got Kobe in my outfit. He was such a big inspiration to me. And for me to be here, I wouldn't be here without him. My phone started blowing up. NBA, ESPN, Bleacher Report. Everybody started posting. Being able to design a jacket for a future star for my hometown, man, it was all meant to be. Growing up in Portsmouth, we didn't have a whole lot of money. We have hand-me-downs. So I would just opt to make my own stuff. I was just creating whatever I could, and then people started taking wind of it. So when I got to Norcom, I saw the screen print in the back. The door was open, and I was like, look, I want to do that. Virginia State, that's where I found my niche for graphic design. Two years later, went to ODU, and that's where the graphics and me being myself came together. That following year, uh, they had Agenda Miami. We went to the show, networked with tons of people. Everything changed for me in my life. Being in LA, I get to experience everything that I need to see when I'm creating. I'm not imagining it anymore. When I go to the training post, seeing the uniqueness of people's style, it opens you up to a lot of different perspectives. And that way I can take that back when I'm designing. These are smart. Let me check these out. I like that. Wow, what is that? It's crazy. <laughs> take a picture of that. Yeah, it's hard. Uh, yeah, 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 yes, it is. <laughs> how we find inspiration. Yeah. I met Kristen two years ago. She wanted to do more production and I was looking to make stuff. When I do it by myself, I'm designing, I make the tag pack, I'm making sure the samples are good. To have a collaborator, it just streamlines the process. That way I can be more creative. What was wrong with these? So if you notice, this snack is wider than this snack. It is. Almost like they use different pattern. And then I have someone to say, okay, well, maybe not that creative. I'm happy that we did these though, because we we're able to see how it was actually gonna look when we do get ready to run production. To have access to downtown with all the, the fabrics, it's literally someone there that could get you whatever you need. I try to think, would it look good on some shoes, would it look good on some pants, would it look good on a hat? I blend these different things. So I'm looking at fabrics, I'm looking at people, I'm looking at how they dress. I'm looking at everything. I'm just keeping an open mind and taking note of all of that. Living this life is like being struck by lightning multiple times. What ideas though? There's so much inspiration everywhere when it comes to creating fashion or art. I pride myself on being able to create products that resonate. Moving to LA definitely was the best decision I made in my life. Bending on myself and putting in my mind the people I used to see in these magazines, the people I used to see in these music videos, then being able to say, I'm good enough with well, anyone my services. The most of the celebrities I've worked with had something to do with me growing up. I was into cereal, so we off cereal boxes with Juju Smith Schuster, Tyler Hero, Master P, and also Nick Chubb. Seeing all the kids around the world eating the cereal, that's beautiful. And working with ASAP Rocky, who I was a big fan of, for me to meet him, hang out with him, and it's just all so surreal. When Puff had on the jacket in the Bad Boy movie, that was the first time I'd ever seen anything that I've done on a TV screen. Dwayne Wade, being able to make a jacket for him, and then we meet up, wow, how does that happen? I'm grateful that I get to work with my favorite artists, favorite athletes, celebrities. This is all I ever wanted. Dreams do come true. <laughs>